Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is: 465 coins consist of rupee 50 paise and 25 paise coins. Their values are in the ratio 5 is to 3 is to 1. Find the number of each of them. So what is the given question? There are 465 coins. So the number of coins is equal to 465. So there are 1 rupee coins, then 50 paise coins and 25 paise coins. And their values of 1 rupee and 50 paise and 25 paise are in the ratio 5 is to 3 is to 1. The ratio of the values is given. You have to find out how many 1 rupee coins are there, how many 50 paise coins are there and how many 25 paise coins are there. You have to find out the number of each. So let the number of 1 rupee coins is equal to x. A number of 50 paise coins is equal to y. A number of 25 paise coins is equal to z. So what is the value? So what will be the value of 1 rupee coins? The value of 1 rupee coins will be equal to x. x into 1. There are x 1 rupee coins. So the total value will be equal to x into 1. And what will be the value of 50 paise coins? There are y 50 paise coins. y is the number of 50 paise coins. So value will be 50 divided by 100. 1 50 paise coin will be having a value of 50 by 100 rupee or half rupee. So y into 50 by 100 and what will be the value of 25 paise coins? It will be equal to z into 25 by 100. 125 paise coin will be having a value of 25 by 100. So z 25 paise coins will be having z into 25 by 100 value. So what is the ratio of the values? It is equal to 5 is to 3 is to 1. It is already given. The ratio of the value of the coins is 5 is to 3 is to 1. So you can write like this. Your aim is to find out x, y and z. So from, how, from this you can find out x is to y is to z. How you can do that? You have to just cross multiply here. So 5 into 1 and this 50 by 100 means here you have to do 3 into 100 by 50. Then only your 50 by 100 will go from here. So 3 into 100 is to 50 is to 1 into 100 by divided by 25. So you are just taking the inverse of this fact is in the right hand side. Okay. So just to find out x is to y is to z you will be taking the inverse of the fact is in the right hand side. So 50 by 100 inverse will be 100 by 50 and 25 by 100 inverse is 100 by 25. So in the corresponding term you have to take the inverse. So x is to y is to z is equal to 5 is to 3 into 100 by 50 which gives you 3 into 2 6 and here you will be getting 4. So your x is to y is to z is equal to 5 is to 6 is to 4. So you found out the ratio for the number of coins x is to y is to z is equal to 5 is to 6 is to 4. What is our question? You have to find out the number of each of them. You have to find out what is x, what is y and what is z. That is your aim. You have to determine the number of coins of each. So what is x? x will be equal to 5 divided by 6 plus 4, 10, 15. So 5 divided by 15 into what is x plus y plus z or what is the total number of coins? It is given as 465 coins. So 5 by 15 into 465 which gives you 155. And what about y? y will be equal to 6 divided by 6 plus 4 plus 5 which is 15 into what is x plus y plus z is equal to 465 which gives you 186 and your z will be equal to 4 divided by 15 into 465 which gives you 124. So you got the number of coins of each one. 1 rupee coins, a number of 50 paise coins, a number of 25 paise coins. So here our aim is to write down the ratio. 5 is to 3 is to 1 ratio is given. So you have to write the equation corresponding to it and from that you will be getting the ratio x is to y is to z. And from the ratio, you can easily find out what is x, what is y and what is z. Question number 2. A sum of rupees 11.70 consists of rupee 50 paise and 5 paise coins in the ratio 3 is to 5 is to 7. Find the number of each kind of coins. So here what is the question? The total sum is given. The total value of the coins is given. The total value of the coins is equal to rupees 11.70. So it is consisting of 1 rupee coins, then 50 paise coins and 5 paise coins. And the number of 
or the ratio of the number of coins is given the ratio of the number of coins is 3 is to 5 is to 7 for every 3 1 rupee coins there will be 5 50 paise coins and for every 3 1 rupee coins there will be 7 5 paise coins so this is the ratio between the number of coins 3 is to 5 is to 7 So you have to find out exactly how many number of coins are there, how many one rupee coins are there, how many fifty paise coins are there, and how many five paise coins are there. In the previous question, the total number of coins was given and the ratio of values was given. Here it is just the inverse. The total value is given and the ratio of the number of coins is given. So how to do this? The number of coins ratio is given. So from that you will be getting the ratio of values. So let's try to find out what is the ratio of values. Ratio of values how you can get? What will be the value of one rupee coins? There are three one rupee coins. It is given. The ratio is three. So three into one will be the value there. And for fifty paise coins, what will be the value? Five into fifty divided by hundred. And for five paise coins, it will be seven into five divided by hundred. So what you will be getting finally? It will be three is to five into point five, which gives you two point five, and this one will be equal to thirty five by hundred. So taking the LCM, hundred is the LCM. So from that, what you will be getting three hundred is to two hundred fifty is to thirty five, which will be again simplified as six hundred sixty is to fifty is to. Seven. So this is the ratio of the values. Sixty is to fifty is to seven. So now you are having the total value. You are already having the total value is equal to eleven point seven. The eleven point seven is the total value, and you are having the ratio of the values also. So from there, so what will be the value of one rupee coins? The value of one rupee coins will be equal to sixty divided by the total sixty plus fifty plus seven. Sixty is the term corresponding to one rupee coin. So 60 divided by the total value 60 plus 50 plus 7, which gives you 117. Into what is the total value? This is the ratio of the values. So total value is 11.7. It is already given. So 60 divided by 117 into 11.7, which gives you rupees 6. So six is what you will be getting. So how many coin? One rupee coins should be there for the value rupees six. There should be six one rupee coins. Now next one. What is the value of 50 paise coins the value of 50 paise coins will be equal to the number corresponding to 50 paise is 50 the ratio is 60 is to 50 is to 7 so 50 is the value corresponding to 50 paise coins so 50 divided by 117 into 11.7 which gives you rupees 5 so rupees 5 means how many 50 paise coins should be there there should be 10 coins only if there are 10 50 paise coins you will be getting the value of rupees 5 okay now last one what is the value of 5 paise coins value of 5 paise coins is equal to 7 is the term corresponding to 5 paise coins so this is the value of 1 rupee coin is to value of 50 paise coins is to value of 5 paise coins the ratio is given 60 is to 50 is to 7 so value of 5 paise coins will be equal to 7 divided by What is the total number? Sixty plus fifty plus seven, one hundred seventeen into what is the total value? Total value is equal to eleven point seven. So you will be getting rupees point seven. So point seven is what you will be getting. Point seven means seventy paise. So seventy paise means how many five paise coins should be there? There should be fourteen coins. So six one rupee coins, then ten fifty paise coins, and fourteen five paise coins. So from this you are able to find out. the number of each kind of coins so just analyze the ratio given in the first question the ratio of the values was given and the total number of coins was given in the second question the total value was given and the ratio of the number of coins is given so accordingly you can solve the question and find out your answer thank you for watching